Is the Arcom incubator from Autolex worth it? I bought this Arcom Pro incubator when I was a teenager a few years ago from Brinzia. Recently, I decided to tune up my incubator for a batch of call duck eggs I purchased off eBay. I heated up my incubator, but then remembered that my water valves were missing. In fact, I remember that the humidity was a big problem with this little incubator. So I decided to see how possible it was to install an ultrasonic mister from eBay. However, when I started dissecting this incubator, I found a few alarming problems, such as fire hazard and support. First, I decided to view the manual to find the missing water valve information. I opened up Google, searched for the manufacturer's website, and pulled the older Arcom Pro manual for my incubator. Oddly, the manual was split into two parts. Upon reading, the manual did contain a component page, but not a replacement parts page. It also specified how not to deeply clean the incubator. At this point, I think the manual is not too useful for cleaning deeply or finding replacement parts. I first ignored the warning sign, since I never registered and I am out of warranty. And plus, the manufacturer is in Korea. I removed the following screws. I carefully removed and unplugged all of the cables. I first carefully pushed the cables to the sensor panel out of the incubator. Here I used an old toothbrush to gently remove dust off the sensor panel. I also loosened dust from the sensor slot area to be vacuumed later on. I did the same for the front areas of the incubator where airflow passes. I did find plenty of dust. Interesting enough, the manual instructs to use a vacuum, but all the dust here adheres to the incubator walls and therefore collects. I removed the humidity panel and began removing the dust adhered under it, and did the same with the humidity panel itself. While doing so, I noticed that its wires were partially stripped. The black panel that covers the processing board creates a tight fit, bending these wires. Interestingly, I've seen these black resistors before in the Arcom Mini first version. They seem to be wire wound resistors. If I am right, then these resistors dissipate heat. Cool air heats up entering the sponge chambers, then that causes evaporation. But that's just a theory here. The biggest problem I discovered are the heating elements. It seems that the heating elements have melted into the plastic. I had to use a flathead screwdriver to pull out the heating elements from the melted plastic. Most of the damage is located on the edges of the incubator. The plastic here is melted deeply, as you can tell. This problem occurred throughout the incubator. I also found alarming that these porcelain insulators are insecure. They fall easy. Here is some more dust adhered to the incubator. Here I decided to put everything back together. Replacing the water valve was my original problem. There seems to be no authorized reseller selling these specific parts. It's tied in with the support to the incubator. This is similar to John Deere's modern tractor problem where farmers need to take their tractors to the manufacturers for repairs. Doesn't that sound costly? 
In the end, I found more problems in the long run for the typical poultry breeder. The dust adheres is not something a vacuum can clean over the vents, as the manual states. The heating elements burn the plastic, destroying the incubator. In the long run, these problems will seem more apparent as ARCOM owners begin to dissect their own ARCOM incubator or before the incubators melt or cause fire hazards. With my ARCOM, it's back to its shelf where it belongs.